What's going on guys, Comes here back again on another ML Builders 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today I have another how to make stub method guide to bring to you. You guys know I've been pumping these out a lot and I just want to help you get some stubs. Of course there are a lot of cool stuff in the game right now, but unfortunately it all requires stubs. So I want to give you guys some tips on how you guys can make some extra stubs and this in my opinion I think I finally found the best one possible, the best one yet. It kind of derives off one that I made before, which honestly I thought was my best then, but I found a way to get it even cheaper to you guys. And just for a sec, okay, if you guys didn't know, I just want to bring this up. Uh, you know the event that has the uh, 20 win live series diamond reward? Guess who I got? Guess who I got? We'll, we'll go ahead and check. Severino. <laughs> Second worst one, really frustrating, but had to get that out of the way. Just kind of really made me mad because I could have got like a Machado God or something like that, but we got a Severino. But that is whatever, but I can still make stubs a lot faster than playing events, and this is how you do it. So, as always, it is going to drive off the souvenirs. And for this one, for this magical secret formula, we're going to start with silver baseballs. Now, they don't have to be silver baseballs. They also can be bronze uh, bronze baseballs because they actually do have the same exchange point requirement. Or they, they do the same thing. So, a uh, bronze ball does 150 and a, uh, and a silver ball does 150 as well. And they cost the same amount. So, it doesn't really matter which one that you guys do. Just a bronze or a silver baseball. For this example, I did use a silver baseball you're gonna want two of those and the price that I bought them all at was 111 so 100 uh, 111 stubs times two that's 222 stubs as you guys can see a bunch of them right here don't, don't look at the top that that's not that's not important but 111 and then you're also gonna need a silver jersey uh, which I bought them at 95 obviously not all of them you can get at 95 but like the Rockies you guys can tell like the Tigers the Diamondbacks there's a bunch of them that are below 100 I think there's at least 10 of them so just go ahead and grab those for about 95 stubs so in total that equals 317 stubs just a little bit over 300 opposed to the original one which I think I did a uh, gold baseball which is currently going for 400 Plus a bronze hat, which would be like another 50, so that's like 450. We're saving about 150 stubs doing this method, so it's going to equal up so much more profit for you guys. And like I said, it really doesn't take any more time. So let's just go ahead and do the damn thing. Uh, show you guys how it's done. Like I said, two silver baseballs or bronze baseballs, whichever one you guys want to do. But they do uh, they do cost the same and do the same uh same point requirement and it's gonna equal 400 no exchange points wasted and as always it's gonna get you a 10 souvenir bronze exchange pack um, so like I said 317 is the exact amount that this one costed for the first two th for the first two ones we're gonna see exactly how much we made uh, the red sets it oh my god oh my god these are great pulls so far the oh what we pulled four red oh my god this one is amazing this this is probably at least 2,000 stubs that we made off that one just off the bat. That that was act that was actually amazing. That was actually amazing. So 317 is the price. I'm just gonna go with right now Yankee hats. You can usually uh, do for more than 160, but we'll call it 160 on the Yankees, 75 on the Tigers. We're already at 235. This is amazing, man. You guys are gonna see the magic work straight, you know, right here, right now. Another 90 right there. We've already made profit off of doing this after three hats. And those aren't even the big ones, Braves. That's gonna be a 254. We're at 579 right now. And this is looking good, man. I'm telling you, you can't sleep on this stub method. This is by far. The best one I think I came out with just because it's cost, it costs pretty much nothing. And you cannot lose stubs. Every hat, at worst, let's say it's going to be 40 stubs. Even if you pull uh, 10, 40 stub hats, you're still going to make profit. There's no way to lose out. Perfect stub method. We got, uh, this would be 312. We're at 970 right now. Reds hats you usually can sell for more. Like I said, it helps if you do kind of have a knowledge of what these hats already go for. So uh, sometimes they will be lower than they actually should be. So kind of just know kind of like the market. Like I said, the Yankees hats, 
you can usually sell them for more than 160 i can usually get them for 200 so kind of wait and hold off to sell them until then just have a knowledge of the market and it really helps and you can maximize your stub profit so 1167 minus 317 in our first round 850 stubs just like that really quick really simple and honestly like i said that's gonna be a lot more than that actually is because like the reds and yankee hats are down right now but their price will jump back up really really soon but let's go ahead and do another round like i said just battle test these you guys i don't want to give you like a watered down like method that doesn't actually work that's not what i'm trying to do i want to make sure that you guys know these are effective and they are efficient so same thing two silver baseballs and a uh and a silver jersey gets you 400 exchange points now these prices might jump up a bit or they will after i make this video i am assuming so i would say i don't really know how they're going to adjust but if you guys have questions on what you should be spending on these make sure to let me know down below in the comments i'll be happy to help you guys out of course so just let me know if you have any questions on that when they do jump up because whenever i make these videos they usually do jump up i already did that so i should already have the pack um here we go hopefully we can get something even a little bit better astros is not bad rockies is a bad pull okay this is not the best one we got a braves a rangers all right this isn't the best one but like i said we're still easily gonna make a good amount of profit on this one i know we poured it what okay that's that's not realistic we're gonna call it 80 for the orioles obviously you're not gonna sell an orioles hat for 269 if you guys did not know uh, i believe we pulled two indians hats so 98 i also don't think that's realistic uh we'll say 65 for both of them uh so we're at 210 right now three hats in not looking too bad uh we did pull a twins hat once again not the best that's only going for 70 280 already almost made profit but of course we did pull a braves one which is pretty good the mariners is going for a nice 133 of course the prices really reflect that who has career arcs and immortals obviously ken griffey has a immortal card for the mariners so they're going to be more expensive the rangers are up to 128 that's uh that's a cool five uh 541 right now still not the best but still not too bad at all 99 for the strohs uh the braves like i said that's gonna be a bit over 200 yeah that's gonna be 264 so that one's gonna help out a lot we're at 904 currently uh i know this one's looking out more uh, better than i thought i know we pulled the nationals hat as well uh that's another 80 on top of that almost at one thou wow right now just a couple more hats add these in just so you guys know i'm not trying to pull anything over you we did get a rocky so like i said not the best pull uh we're gonna call that that doesn't sell for let's call that 65 so 1049 stubs minus 317 that we put in 732 not bad at all so you guys can see just off of those two that took pretty much no time at all we made a cool about 2000 stubs right there and uh i'm just gonna fill in a couple more because i mean i'm gonna be doing this regardless and just show you some of the good pulls that you guys can get i'll show you in the market in just a second uh some of the good ones that you can get like the cardinals are always really good the sword the dodgers the phillies like i said as they add in new programs some of these you might want to hold on to just to kind of invest that's what we did with like frank thomas of course we knew he was coming out so a lot of us invested in white Sox stuff and it, it paid out they really jumped up in price but uh if we look at bronze hats right now the best ones that you can really get uh, okay the Orioles they do not sell for that the Braves are really good the Dodgers like I said the Dodgers you can sell these for 300 do not sell them at 199 the A's and the Reds are usually good and of course the Reds have two career arcs in the game right now the White Sox are good the Astros are solid see the, the Yankees are already up to 200 right now the Mets are a good pull the Cardinals are probably one of the best pulls that you can get and uh, you guys can kind of give an idea on that kind of study the market to see like how it's running to see cut to just maximize your profits you know like we got a dodges right there the padres the yankees are good the angels are actually really good too i sold some yesterday for like 350 and that was another good run i'll just do it like two more times just so you guys can see but this is probably my favorite method that i've come out to up to this date i mean just it's 300 stubs that you have to put in and at worst you're gonna make like a hundred stub profit and that's if you got like the worst sdsb luck sdsbs luck ever i mean like this method just really really efficient cost efficient and i really do like it just show you guys two more times just how it works 
Uh, and like I said, you can make a lot of stubs really, really fast doing this. If you guys do enjoy this method, make sure you leave a like down below on this video. I really would appreciate it. There we go. I got another Rangers, Yankees, and an Angels hat. This is nice, man. This is nice. Of course, like I said, a lot of new stuff coming into the game. Hopefully, they add some more all-star content because, of course, the all-star game is coming up. Bryce Harper's the starter, and Blake Snell did not make it, damn it. Please let me know down below in the comments. You're all-star snubs, and if you are pissed off with the all-star game selections, Personally, I don't like it a lot. My boy Snellzilla didn't even make the team. He'll probably be a reserve, an injury replacement, but he deserved to be on the team, man. How oh, frustrating, but like I said, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and opinion. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this method, and if you guys want to see more, make sure to like down below. But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and there the guys comes out. Yeah. Love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory. I